Hey guys, it's Marf. Without further ado, I'm going to get right into a, a really crazy update here uh, about the Russia situation. Now, if you did not know, there is huge tensions with Russia right now and of course our other adversaries. But right today, I just want to focus on the issue with Ukraine and Russia and the, the huge things that are, are possibly popping off right now. Now, there's going to be some videos overlaid this video. So if they play during when I'm talking, uh, then you know, you'll know you be able to see what exactly I'm talking about. The first one that I'm going to put on here is the video of, uh, reportedly, video of Ukrainian tanks sliding into Luhansk and Donsk region. Now, if I said those wrong, I apologize. But again, uh, I guess the message is way more important than the pronunciation here. So they have, of course, tanks rolling in. There is now video all over Twitter surfacing of trains moving stuff around. You've got uh, tanks, you've got uh, personnel movers, you have helicopters, you have jets. Uh, the next video that I'm gonna show you here um, is a military blog. And both, uh, the first one again was CIA Simulation Warlord over on Twitter. And the second one is Military Blog, and it is Russian helicopters BTR-82As heading towards the border with Ukraine. So there's some pretty big moves uh, being made right now between those two countries. Now, where this matters to the rest of the world is obviously if there's something, uh, if something becomes super hot with these two countries, it very well uh, could involve us. Now, I have an article here. Uh, this is an actual... Uh, article by UPI and it says US defense officials reassure Ukraine of support amid tension with Russia so they're basically saying even though we have some tension here we're gonna back you up on this and it says defense secretary Lloyd Austin spoke to Ukraine's Minister of Defense on the phone Thursday to express unwavering US support for UK Ukraine's uh, sovereignty and condemn uh, the Russian aggression into the country so that's us saying that we are going to back them up if anything happens. Now, how it is looking is bad, but of course, we don't know for sure, you know. Uh, but I would say with everything else popping off, with uh, China amassing these merchant, you know, maritime military militia ships off, on, uh, off the Philippines, you of course have several countries out of nowhere testing their nukes. This is definitely a situation where we need to follow it every step of the way. Uh, this has come closer to, you know, a third conflict than possibly in the last three years. We've had, you know, a couple things here and there, but this is a culmination of everything all at once. So I thought it was very important to get this out, and I hope that uh, people end up sharing it out. Again, I, I just hope the, the best for all of you. Keep in mind, we are independent. We are uh, completely independent. We do not have a multi-channel network. Uh, I would highly, highly highly recommend uh, actually looking into an EMP shield. If you have not yet, make sure to go to marfuglenews.com slash EMP. This can actually protect you against all three phases of an EMP, E1, E2, and E3. Again, this also protects against a natural solar flare, which we're overdue for. I believe in the end this will actually save lives. If you want to protect your house or your generator or your solar system, people don't think about that. Or if you even just want to protect your car, this is the way to do it. Marfugalnews.com slash EMP. If you do, there's now two sales going on. Uh, there is our $50 off, which is always there per device. Uh, there's also their sale, so you can now combine it. It's one of the best sales since, I believe, last year on Black Friday. <laughs> Feed the haters to the alligators. Your way or the highway. See you later. DOD is the homie and Mr. Vader. If it wasn't for you, I would never made it. Whole city's covered by the cream made it. Now they listen to what we were saying. Doesn't matter if my manufacturer or created. But now, but 